starting the downswing with the wrists, moving the wrist correctly, bowing the wrist and moving the flexion or twisting the grip is the key move to help you be majorly successful in your golf game. So all great golfers, as they start the downswing, move this wrist into what we call flexion. Now flexion is moving the wrist this way or twisting the grip as I will call it for today's video. But basically what that does, if you look at it, if I just do this action on its own, you'll see the club goes into a shallower or a lower shaft position and the club face goes into a stronger position. Now, if you shallow the swing and strengthen the face, that's two key components to make you play better. A stronger face and a shallower plane is gonna allow you to turn through the golf ball correctly to hit better shots. So these are a real, or this is a real key movement to make you play better. A couple of terms of reference for you, obviously, that would be a fairly flat lead wrist, that would be a flex lead wrist, that would be a cut lead wrist. Ideally, we're looking to have your wrist fairly flat in the backswing, top of the backswing, cupped in takeaway, then going flat, then flexing, and then being flexed at impact. That's the ideal. Once we've hit the ball, it'll go back into that extension state. So these are the kind of things we'll be looking for in your golf swing. In terms of the wrist, the lead wrist, in terms of how it works, in terms of flat, extended or bowed and extended throughout the journey of its golf swing. So whenever I look at data using hack motion or 3D stuff, we always see with all good players, the lead wrist at the top of the swing will increase its amount of flexion or bowing as it starts down. And that will happen, you know, various amounts, but it happens every single elite player. When we look at the average golfer and the bad players, quite often this angle will increase the extension. So it will actually go into a more cup shape. And when it goes into a more cup shape, again, independently, I'll try and keep my arm as still as possible. You see the shaft here goes into a more vertical plane and the face opens more. And those two things then lead you to either cut across the golf ball with a huge slice, or then you'll try and save it with a lot of early extension and flipping. So really, out, the reality is, encouraging this move from the top is exactly what we'd want to do. Now, if you ask me when you're playing golf, should you be thinking about trying to bow your wrist as you start your downswing? I would say to you, hell no. But can we work on it on the driving range or even in the kitchen before we go and play golf and get some feels and encourage the, room, the wrist movements we want? Absolutely. So let's give you some things you can do practical things you can do that will make a difference to your golf game. So if we go to the top of our swing one-handed and feel the logo of the glove goes up towards the sky, that is the wrist twist we are after. When I do that one-handed in particular, the weight of the club changes and I can feel this in my forearm. So that sensation and just practicing this action is a really good thing to do. And that's what we want to try and feel we do in the real swing. So on the practice ground, we may well do quite a few practice swings one-handed or even go back two-handed and go one hand and feel that action. And then feel we're doing the same thing when we go and hit a golf ball. That would be the idea. Let's go ahead and rip one away. Now and there, got a nice bit of draw on it. Felt I did that action. I'll watch you back to check, but I felt like I did it. It's certainly doing the practice wings gave me a more enhanced, intensified sensation of what I needed to do with this lead wrist. Now, the second way of feeling this is to use an ordinary towel. And I call this the rinse move. So it's twisting the grip still, but it's the rinse move. So if I take the towel and go to the top of my backswing and think about rinsing that towel with my lead hand, that is the move I want to see in the golf swing. Now, I don't think you can be too scared of overdoing this. You can really overdo this. If you look at players like DJ, Dustin Johnson, he gets the wrist this way at the top of the backswing. It still increases on the way down. It possibly increases less than the guy that have a more cupped wrist in the backswing, but it still increases. According to the experts, the most you'll see a tall player with a cut wrist at the top of the swing is about 10 degrees and then they would move into minus figures on the way down. So they're moving, let's say 10 to 20 to 30 degrees on the way down, depending on how much they're cupped on the way back. And also the type of shot they wanna play and the patterns they have. 
But this rinse drill is a game changer to feel your downswing move. And you can do that exactly as I just did there, take it into impact and feel that wrist still in that twisted fashion. All the way through till we get to the moment of truth, the impact. Because again, most golfers, most average golfers will tend to get too cuppy at impact. And we want to definitely feel a flat lead wrist to the hitting zone. So once you've done some reps with the towel, pick up your golf club and go and hit the ball fairly quickly after that. So you can use the same sensations when you play. And again there, nice draw, straight down towards the green there. Felt great, felt different for me. I definitely don't flex my wrist enough in the transition. That one felt like I did it a lot more than I would do normally, but it felt great and certainly gave me that really strong ball flight that I'd be looking for you to have in your game to make you play better. Hope you've enjoyed today's video, looking at twisting the grip to make you play better golf. If you have, please click like, and also please comment down below. I'd also like to invite you to follow me, subscribe. Only about 20% of you subscribe to my videos. I'd love to see more of you subscribe. It's all for free, and it means you don't miss any of my new content that I release on a weekly basis. Thanks for joining me today at the Forest of Arden. Hope to see you back here real soon.